Good morning, North Town. I'm Vin M. And I'm Scotty Sharp. Today is Thursday, January 14th, and we are broadcasting to you from Studio 217. This is NTV News. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Northtown News, check out our Facebook page, NKC Journalism, and download the North Kansas City High School app to stay up to date with everything Northtown. Congratulations goes out to Guadalupe Valdez, Sr., Josh Kelly, Sr., and Scotty Sharp, Jr., for receiving a superior rating at the Missouri State Thespians Conference last weekend for their individual event performances. They are invited to perform at the Arts Day in Jefferson City in March and compete at the International Thespian Festival in June. Josh and Scotty were also selected to perform in the IE Showcase at the Musical Hall last Saturday for the entire conference. Please congratulate your Lady Hornet swim team for their great performance at the Northland inv Invite over the weekend. There were some great swims uh, from these hardworking ladies. Ali Schmidt personal best in the 200 freestyle and school record in the 500 freestyle. Ali Dillingham, Dillingham, state qualifying times and school records in the 50 freestyle and 100 bre breaststroke. Uh, her 50 freestyle record broke a record that had been standing for 15 years. Nichipat Choabal, personal best in 100 breaststroke. Harley Van tu uh, Tuil, Anika Gleaton, Melanie McQuiston and Bailey Buckle all had amazing swims as well. Great job, lady swim team. Senior boys, if you're interested in participating in Mr. NKC this year, see Mr. Jackson in May 211 to pick up an application form. Turn in the form at the mandatory meeting on January 27th during advisory in Mr. Jackson's room. Northland Caps is hosting their open houses to learn more about their programming. Students and parents are welcome to attend the January 20th open house at the Gladstone Community Center. Please reserve a free ticket at northlandcaps.org. This is the 90th year of Northtown as a school. In honor of that and the 90th day of school this year, here's a look at what makes Northtown so special. North Kansas City High School has been the centerpiece of education in the Northland since 1925. For 90 years, this school has been providing a rigorous, safe, and spirit-filled environment for all of its students. The current main building was constructed in 1925, and the Fieldhouse Annex was added in 1951. The cafeteria and music wing was added in 1958, and in 1961, a new library was constructed and will later become the current location for the Student Services Center. The Industrial Tech and Business Center was added in 1962. As the school grew, the former Norclay Elementary School became a full-time annex for the high school, creating a campus in 1984. Northtown's famous football stadium was constructed in 1941 and was one of the final work progress administration projects ending the Great Depression in the 1930s. The stone wall surrounding the football stadium was constructed during that time period as well. In 2006, the football stadium was recognized as the best high school facility in the Kansas City area to view a Friday night football game. So be proud, Northtown. And the stadium was recently renovated to improve the field for everyone who plays on it. North Kansas City High School, better known as Northtown, to all of its current students and alumni, is and will always be the best place to get an education. North Kansas City is recognized as being one of the most diverse schools in the nation, as well as being one of the most successful when it comes to educating all of its students. So here's to 90 years. Seniors, there are more scholarships being posted to the counseling website daily. Be sure to check out how to get scholarships for college. Sophomores, Jostens will return on January 20th to collect class ring orders. Students have organized a cancer project and it will last for three weeks. This project aims at collecting money for patients with leukemia and lymphoma cancer to find a cure while also helping to better the patient's lives. There are six teachers participating in this project. Mr. Bruns, Mr. Stillwell, Mr. O'Keefe, 
Mr. Bailey, and Mr. Cuny. Each teacher will have a donation box in their classroom. The teacher with the most donations will get taped on the wall and tied by the other teachers. There will also be students going around school with white box containers to collect money. If you donate more than a dollar, you'll get a sticker. These students will have a table in front of the lunchroom for more donations. Students will be able to vote for the teacher they want to be pied and taped on the wall. In sports today, we have varsity and JV girls basketball at home with Oak Park at 5.30 p.m. and girls swimming and diving at the KC Classic. Tomorrow is the winter sports assembly and we will be on an advisory schedule. Class of 2016, graduation is a short time away. Here's Drea with a segment of Drop the Mic with what you need to know before graduation day. Greetings to all, but mostly my seniors, and welcome back from break. And welcome to another segment of Drop the Mic with Drea, the spot for your motivation, inspiration, and a little conversation. Today is all about seniors. Noticing the trend here? <laughs> So, last time I spoke to everyone collectively, we were over eight months away from graduation. Oh my God. And now we are a little under four months to cap and gown season. Oh, wow. The time just, just flies. Sometimes you get a little, get a little lost in my emotions. But back to business. Seniors, we have waited over four years of high school, three years of middle school, and five years of elementary school, not counting pre-K for this moment. The moment for all of our loved ones to sit in the audience and cheer us on as we take those steps across that high school graduation stage. And then at the end, they all break us off with a little graduation money, a token of their appreciation. No? All right. Well, anyway... This is the moment that we've been waiting on. The moment for all of us to feel nothing short of proud of our achievements. Because this was one achievement that no one else could accomplish for us, but one that we must have done ourselves. <laughs> Singers, how was last semester? Did you set the bar for this semester, or did you struggle picking the barb off the ground? I've fallen, and I can't get up. Either way, it doesn't matter because there is no time like the present. And with that being said, just to refresh your memory on the requirements of graduation, the state of Missouri requires to graduate, you need four English credits, three social study credits, three years of mathematics, but it's recommended by most colleges that you do have four, three years of science, one fine art credit, one practical art, 0.5 of a health credit and 7.5 credits of electives. This information was provided by decimo.gov. But remember, Hornets, if you are in programs such as Gold Medallion or IB, the requirements may differ just a little bit. Are you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Just a, just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. All right, seniors, before I leave you, here is a little bit of inspiration. This is called life. Life is filled with mud and cookies. Some days, eating cookies makes walking in the mud unnoticeable. And while other days, you get distracted paying more attention to the mud beneath your shoes than you do the cookies you have in your hand. But if you just remember that everyone has had to walk through some mud in life and that the happiest ones were the ones who paid more attention to the cookies than they did the mud, then you yourself will start to enjoy walking through that mud because you remember that you have cookies. With that being said, seniors, it is almost time for us to share a cookie in front of our loved ones. They know how much mud we have had to walk through, and well, we remember the nights when we had to clean dried up mud off of our shoes. Let the mud be a symbol of all of the trials and experiences we have went through to get to graduation and let the cookie symbolize one more achievement to put into our personal cookie jar. We're still here. It's over. Thank you for watching, Northtown. Keep it classy. And as always, it's a great day to be a Hornet.